Well, we have a handful of days until 2023, but 2022 still has some life left, right? I'm your host, Andrew, and this is Crypto Espresso. And until 2023, we're going to be looking at some of the biggest crypto stories from the past year. Today, we're going to be looking at some of the most salacious, scandalous crypto controversies to grace our news. But before we get started on today's list, make sure to ask Alex in that description below about the CMC50. We want our community to tell us what the 50 biggest crypto news stories of 2022 were, so make sure to check out our link and vote like you've never voted before. In between all of the bankruptcies and the hacks, there have been plenty of controversies engulfing the crypto space. We've seen squabbles, cock-ups, and no end of very questionable decisions, but to put a slightly positive spin on 2022, it wouldn't be the same without all of this chaos, and when you move fast, it's inevitable that you break things, right? And so here's a look at some of the biggest controversies of the year. One, Greenpeace rocks the boat. The environmental charity caused a bit of a stir by suggesting that Bitcoiners change the code, not the climate, and follow Ethereum's lead with a move to a proof-of-stake algorithm. Well, this didn't go down well, with some accusing Greenpeace of naivete and lacking understanding of why proof-of-work matters. Two, celebrities feel the heat over crypto endorsements. Kim Kardashian ended up paying a $1.26 million fine, which I'm sure bankrupted her, to the SEC, but saw down a lawsuit brought by aggravated Ethereum Max investors. And A-listers who helped promote FTX, that's Larry David, Tom Brady, and Naomi Osaka, now have legal headaches of their own to deal with. Three, tornado cash sanctions cause a storm. The U.S. faced considerable backlash when it imposed new restrictions on one of the world's most used mixing services. Officials said this was driven by concerns that Tornado Cash was a national security threat, with North Korean hackers using it to launder stolen crypto. Four, Bitcoin helps power the Freedom Convoy movement. Truckers in Canada took to the streets of the capital in protest against COVID-19 vaccine mandates. They were subsequently blocked from GoFundMe after raising millions of dollars, and so they turned to Bitcoin. Well, crypto exchanges ended up facing a bit of pressure from police to block addresses that were involved. 5. The war in Ukraine raises some very tricky issues. The West moved quickly to impose economic sanctions on Russia, with many major businesses shutting up shop in the country. But many crypto exchanges were reluctant to follow suit, warning that it goes against the libertarian values that the industry was built upon. 6. Kyle Roche falls victim to candid camera. A mysterious website called Crypto Leaks published a series of secretly recorded videos featuring the Roche Friedman lawyer. He was heard calling juries idiots and boasted of suing half the companies in the industry. Months later, and Roche has stepped down from the law firm that he helped found. 7. Coinbase's reverse ferret ruffles feathers. Try saying that five times fast. At the start of the year, Coinbase was boasting about plans to hire 2,000 more staff, and just four months later, it cut 18% of its workforce and rescinded the job offers of talented professionals who were about to join. As a result, Brian Armstrong admitted that his exchange had simply grown too fast. 8. Craig Wright keeps on suing. He won just one pound from Peter McCormick in nominal damages after a court in London concluded that he was not a witness of truth. And Hodlonot ended up smelling of roses after winning a high-stakes trial in Norway, with a judge concluding that tweets where he called Wright a scammer were actually lawful. 9. Were politicians and regulators a little too friendly with SBF? When Maxine Waters ever so politely invited Sam Bankman-Fried to testify before Congress on Twitter, she was inundated with photos of them arm-in-arm smiling to the camera. And then there's Joe Biden coming under pressure to return $5 million of campaign donations that he received from FTX's founder. But remember too, SBF says that he also donated a good chunk of money through dark means to the Republicans also. Ugh. And 10. It's just not cool being called the FTX Arena anymore. Miami Heat Stadium was rebranded in a nine-figure deal, but these days being named after a doomed exchange accused of serious malfeasance just it, it doesn't doesn't sit well. Awkwardly, it is a 19-year contract, but negotiations are already underway to help the venue wriggle out of it. And speaking of wriggling, why don't you wriggle on over to that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes up. We'll be back again tomorrow with another look back at crypto for 2022. Again, I've been your host, Andrew, and we'll see you then.